Hi, this video is about how to consume web services hosted by SAP PI PO. It includes these topics Introduction to web services, it's communication between two systems. Requester will send a request to the server, then, stipulated program will be executed on the server. If it is a synchronous scenario, response will be sent back to the requester. Let's see web services hosted by SAP NetWeaver Java Web Server. We can view web services hosted by SAP PI from SAP NetWeaver Administrator. Configuration, Connectivity, Single Service Administration. As of now, there are 107 web services hosted by PI. Those web services can be tested from Web Services Navigator. We can test from this web page. Better approach to test or consume a web service is using SOAP UI. Let's consume channel admin web service copy the visual let's create a project in soap ui give the visual Using this web service, we can get channel status, set channel status, start and stop the channel. We have a communication channel running. It's external control. Let's get its status using web service instead of using communication channel monitoring. Open get channel status. Give channel name, give username and password, channel status is started and it is external control. Let's say we want to stop the channel using web service. Open stop channel action. Give channel name. Username and password. channel is stopped. Let's see the channel in communication channel monitoring. Channel is stopped. We were able to monitor the channel status. Stop the channel using channel admin web service. We consume this web service by sending a soap message with XML payload and web server gives a response with XML payload. If you see the raw form of communication, it's HTTP post. These are HTTP header details. And this is the HTTP response from the server. We can send HTTP post using any programming language like Java, .NET, VB. Instead of using SOAP UI, let's use a programming language to consume web service. Go programming language is developed by 
Google. This program will post SOAP message with XML payload to this web service with content type as text or XML and the response from the web service is printed out. When we execute this program, response from the web service is displayed and the channel status is stopped. We have consumed web service using Go language. Let's try the same thing in Java. This Java program will post SOAP message with XML payload to this web service and prints the response from the web service. When we run this program, response from the web service is displayed. The channel status is displayed. This soup XML can be generated using DOM parser or digital to Java serialization. Let's see how we can do Vistel to Java serialization in next section. Let's consume the web service using Java program. This time the SOAP message will be constructed by Java classes in the back end. Let's create a project. Import the visitor into this project. Select the visitor. Give the visitor URL. Visitor is imported into the project. Generate the client for the visitor. It creates these classes. Let's create main class to consume these classes. We will use this class, status class, and then channel admin class. This would be the main class which will send a SOAP message to the web service and displays the response back. Here we are giving the channel details. And then here we will retrieve the channel status and print the channel status out. These classes are responsible for sending HTTP POST request with SOAP and XML content. Let's run this program. Channel status is displayed. Choosing the correct programming language for web client is important. If you want to write web client in Microsoft Excel, you can write it in .NET or VBA. This concludes the video. Thank you for your time.